Chip's already been into the burn pile. He's found me a piece of wood to bring back. Good dog. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, welcome back to Hobby Hardwood Sawmill. It is summertime, it is hot. We get a lot of questions from people that say, uh, how do you know what the log looks like when you buy it, what it's gonna turn into, or what defects should you look for? And also things like, uh, how do you know you're gonna saw it when you saw it? Chip's already hot and he's already panting. He's had a rough day. We've already got him under the hose and he's been playing. Now he's gonna watch me do some sawing or talking. So he's already bored. Here are some cherry logs. These are next on the mill. It's about what, six of them. They're nice size, big, beautiful cherries. I mean, that guy right there is right at 30 inches, give or take, but they're cherry. Oop, dang it, dropped my chalk. Cherry has problems. And it's one of the more technically difficult logs to saw, even though it saws like butter. If you don't do it right, you're gonna make some mistakes and end up with some nasty wood. Oh, the first thing is cherry sapwood dries at a different rate than heartwood, which means it's called sapwood pull. So if you leave sapwood on a board, when it dries, it's like it's gonna shrink more than the heartwood and it's like putting a rubber band on the board. As it shrinks, it's gonna to try to compress and it's gonna cause the heartwood to twist or bow or warp. Uh, it's a lot like taping a rubber band or two on the side of a sheet of paper. You stretch it out, it looks flat, you let it go. The rubber bands pull down and wrinkle the sheet of paper. It's kind of like that. So sapwood is a no-no if you want high grade cherry that stays flat when it dries. Cherry generally has a lot of stress in it as a species. <laughs> I guess it has a hard life. It's watching too much news. So it's always stressed up. Anytime you put a cherry log on a sawmill, you got to realize it's going to have more stress than say your normal log of a different species. So you really have to watch for that. And I put out a few videos on how to identify and saw with the stress or avoid stress. The other thing that cherry has, it has a really heavy uh, pith check. Basically, when the tree's a sapling, it's called the juvenile core. When a tree's young as a sapling, as a, as a juvenile, it has a different cellular structure than as it matures. So the idea is that it stays somewhat dormant as a sapling in the canopy, and when a tree around it dies, it can explode up through the canopy and reach some sunlight. So in cherry, that juvenile core or pith is extremely prone to cracking. You can saw lumber out of it and it may look good, but when you dry them, they're gonna look like kindling. So the problem with that is if you have a lot of sapwood in them, that's gonna twist and pull. You, you cut boards and stack them that have a lot of pith check in them, they're gonna twist and crack. And you put those in your good boards in your stack. You think you're saving money because you're salvaging those boards, but when they dry, they'll move and twist. And depending on how you stack your wood, those twisted boards will lift up the boards on top. And you'll not just have one twisted board. Now you get two or three jacked up boards that shouldn't have been jacked up, except the bad board lifted them up. It's the classic case of one bad apple will spoil a batch. When you're sawing cherry for high grade, you need to identify all these defects to begin with, uh, eliminate them. I mean, it hurts, you're losing money. But when you price the logs out, you should have figured that out when you were buying them. That's just the part of cherry. Chip's already hot, he's taking a breather. Now let's look at some of these guys, let's analyze them. So let's pick the pretty one first. Big, big sap ring. That's coming off. Not much stress in one plane. It's got stress, obviously, going this direction. Got stress going this direction. It's got some stress going this direction and a little bit going that direction. So as I'm sawing this, I'm identifying where the major stress is going to be to begin with. And this one's gonna be a pretty easy log to saw. 
you can start to see the change in structure. So all the boards will be coming out of this outer area. Chip's already been into the burn pile. He's found me a piece of wood to bring back. Good dog. You bet. He's breathing hard. Have a seat, Chip. Now we'll look at the ugly ones. This one's not a real good log. It's got a very wide sap ring. See that circle? It's a perfect example why you don't want to be sawing in there. Now the reality of it is it actually gets discolored out here. So this, this tree had some problems with it. So when I'm sawing this, I'll probably stay. You can see some wind shake right here. I'll stay out of this whole area. Wind shake is where the growth rings delaminate. It is a death sentence to any board that you saw and try to kiln dry. Basically, if you look at all the growth rings end on, they're stacked up like pages in a telephone book. When you roll that telephone book, the pages will separate. That basically delaminates the growth rings. Sometimes the tree heals back up. Sometimes it doesn't. As Chip slowly moves my, my log pile back here. So this, this one has a lot of shake in it. You can see delamination here. Clearly see delamination there. You can see it there and there. This one's going to be a problem. Big log, take out the sapwood, stay out of the shaking zone. I can get this kind of wood, but this one's got a lot of defects in it. People will buy this thinking this is a really good log, but when you look at all the cracks in it, this one's not going to be real good. I didn't pay a whole lot for this guy. And I didn't pay a whole lot for this. Do you mind? And as I'm looking at it, so this is one, I don't know. This one's good. This one's not a very good log. This one could be a disaster. There's shake there, there, there. There's shake here. This one, hopefully a lot of those defects don't run all the way up the log. But as I'm sawing this and I realize the yield on this is going to be about 50%. Not going to be a good one. Um, let's see. This is a good one. Big log. Major stress this direction. Major stress this direction. No big deal. I might even quarter saw this one. Because... I got stress going that way, so I can take some real nice boards here, take some real nice boards there, and then I can reverse roll a quarter saw. This guy, just like that, that easy. So that one may be a quarter saw and cherry time I get done with it. I guess we'll have to see. Chip, I mean, really, I'm trying to talk here. I mean, what are you saying? Do I need to shut up? Huh? Yeah, okay. Bring it here, Chip. Come on. <coughs> Bring it here. Come on. Just get it. He's got him a big hunk of bark. He's going to go put it on his pile. He is a sawmill dog. Every week he puts all that wood on a pile and then he'll go get more wood and we'll toss it over there and then he'll bring it back. And, you know, it's just Chip. That's why he's called Chip. So anyway, Chip, that's enough. Okay? Chip, go get another hunk of wood. Come on, go get another one. <laughs> he's just looking at me. Seriously, dog. <laughs> he's just, he just chipped with some more wood. He is building an entire fort over there. More wood being moved. And it, so I, I don't know what else to say. Shit. Chip's kind of made me lose my concentration here. It's hot. I'm already sweating. Let's get a couple of these logs. Let's put them on the sawmill. Which one do you think we ought to put on first? I got an idea. Why don't we put the ones that are on top first? And there goes Chip back to the old log pile. We got some big logs coming up on some of these videos. 
mean, look at this big old. Well, get it, Chip. Quit playing around. Just pick it up. Pick it up and bring it over here. Come on, just get it. Get it. Get it. If you want the big one, get it. Pick it up. Yeah, I know it's aggravating. Come on, get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you're getting mad at it now. All right. Here, let me pick it up for you. It's a big one. Well, get your foot off of it. Careful. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. I know. That's what Chip does. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to call it because Chip just keeps barking. And let's go saw up some logs and I'm going to put some of these on there. I'm going to take some videos of them. And if nothing else, I hope y'all have a great day and we will see you all next week. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.